Well, I had a pretty tough job ahead of me at Olympic trials in 84. I almost didn't make that team. Uh, went out on my first event and actually scored in the seventh and didn't think it was mathematically possible. So I've seen climbs like that uh, all through the years. Marsha Fredericks back in 79 came back to make the, the team. And it's always fun to watch. Good oh. competitive spirit. Always adds to the drama. And now you're looking at Christy Henrich, our leader of the three rotations. She's ready to compete on the floor. What is putting pressure on her is the fact that Wendy Bruce, the ladies currently in second place, did so well on the vault. She wants to finish first, albeit not factoring in the Brandy Johnson situation. All the gymnasts here, she probably has the best facial expression. She really gets into the music and performs. Many of the others, they just do the routine. Just they do it, it well, nice. but she performs it. And this is something all the others really need to work on. <laughs> Very low on the landing, but pulls it out. Well, we saw her with that in the warm-ups. She did look real strong in the warm-ups. I think she could be a little bit tired. She came in early, started warming up long before anybody else stayed at the end of the compulsories yesterday. That was a completely blown pass. Yes. We'll have to look again at that at the replay and see exactly what happened. You can see her blink her eyes. jeopardize her position on the tee. It's just, she's had such a tremendous competition, it's a shame to end like this. Let's see how she can do her dismount. She took it. Well, she's supposed to do a double back. Pulls it around. Get over. Like I said, she just looks tired. I thought, I honestly thought, and probably would have done so myself, opted to do a double twist. Not done the most difficult tumbling man. She's looking and shaking her head. She does not look right. She's fighting back. It's a tough way to end a, a great competition for her. Now she's the one who had a broken vertebrae in her back. Now let's see exactly what happened. This is the first tumbling run. And she really worked for this one. She did a whip over through to a double back. And when you start out this week in a floor exercise, it's, it would be like starting out to run a half a mile and dying in the first quarter of the, of the race. It's really now, tough. Gentlemen, we the she does a front handspring, front with a full twist step out. Did not have enough power here. <laughs> and that was not That's what she planned snap. to do at all. Exactly. That's what concerned me. She snapped her head. And then she believe, Now watch her face here. She comes up after she snaps her head down. Yeah. Here, hit the deck. Now watch, she'll come up and she'll blink. Watch it right here. She's blinking it off. She is dazed. Well, I know exactly why she's blinking. She usually does a double back there. Uh -huh. And whether she realized she was stopping herself, she did the right thing. She didn't pull for a double back. So Christy's upset with her performance while the trainers look at her neck. This is just her second meet since she fractured.